Shane Phillips, the Chief Executive Officer of the Phillips Group, and we're here at the HR Summit and Expo, the largest HR event in the Middle East. And I'm with Mr. Alan Power, the founder of Empower, a leadership expert and management consultant. Welcome, Alan. Thank you. Well, thank Thanks you very much. So you're doing a presentation on action-based leadership. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Yeah, the Action Center Leadership has been around for about 40 years. It was um, an interesting model that was based in the British Army in the 1970s uh, by a gentleman called John Adair. And John Adair went, to, went on to become the professor, the first professor of leadership training in the world when he became a uh, professor at um, the University of Surrey. He developed a model and the model was based around the assumption that um, people can learn to be a leader. He recognized that many of us are very good managers, but there's a, a lack of leadership capability around the world. And so his research ended up in him, him, in him identifying that to be effective, a leader needs to focus on three things. The three things are to achieve the task, build the team, and develop the individual. So within the context of those three focuses, he's produced a set of uh, functions that each leader should adopt, like leaders should brief, leaders should plan, leaders should motivate, leaders should support, leaders should set an example and so on. But you might be thinking, well, isn't that what a manager does? And yes, maybe that's also what a manager does. But with the model, what's different is the how and the why. So if we think of something fairly simple, like communications, we're all involved in communications. So whether we're a leader or a manager, we communicate with people. But if you were to ask a manager why they communicate, they would often say that the reasons I'm communicating is to tell people what to do, to give them instructions, to explain how I want it done to tell them what the consequences might be if they don't do as they're informed. Um, if you asked a leader why is it that they communicate, then they would be saying something like, well, I'm trying to inspire people and trying to create an image of a compelling vision for the future. I want to in invoke people's feelings. I want to win their heart as well as their mind. Um, so there's a different focus why we're communicating. Uh, I guess similarly, if you ask the question, how does a manager communicate, then typically they would use the word tell. I tell people something, tell people what to do, by using maybe in personal media, sending them a memo, sending them an email, sending them a message on a text or whatever. Whereas a leader, if you say, how do you communicate, they would typically say, I prefer to communicate face to face. Uh, why, that is, why is that? Well, it's because I like to observe, observe people's facial expressions. I like to give them an opportunity to talk to me, to seek feedback, to seek clarification, explanations. I like to hear their voice because I'm trying to detect tone of voice. And I would also like to observe body language because if I'm trying to get into an emotional level with people, how do people feel about something? Well, they can't really betray that. They can't hide that with a tone of voice or a facial expression or through their body language. So that's maybe how I would describe management actions and how they may be different for leadership actions. And that's the focus of the model. That was Mr. Alan Power, the founder of Empower, a management consultancy focused on leadership uh, training and consulting and his insights into action-based leadership. I'm your host, Shane Phillips from the Phillips Group, and we are at the HR Summit and Expo, the largest HR event in the Middle East.